So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the NVIDIA DLSS plugin for Unreal Engine 4. Now, DLSS is not new technology. It's actually been used in video games for a while. I know Call of Booty has it and uh, Cyberpunk has it. Uh, or Cyberpuke. Uh, they have all this technology, so DLSS, pretty much uh, NVIDIA's super scaling technology. So they just made that available yesterday in uh, the marketplace. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So along with the MetaHuman release, uh, they just released this right after that. So if I go to the marketplace and type in DLSS, I'm going to go ahead and click in it, and it's going to take me to an external link. And pretty much what I'm going to do today is just show you how to install this thing in your Unreal Engine 4. I'm going to go ahead and download the plugin. I already have it plugged in, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you. After downloading that file, you're going to get this here. Uh, you're going to have to unzip this, but let's go ahead and go to the installation guide so we can follow it. All right. Uh, prerequisites, you're going to need 4.26, Windows 10, uh, NVIDIA GeForce Driver 4.61. Very important, you're going to need an RTX GPU, uh, Titan Quadro or GeForce. I have the RTX 3090. So I should be good to go with DLSS support. Uh, you need a UE4 project using DX12, which we already have all that stuff. So um, I already have Unreal Engine 4 installed, so we can actually skip this out. But basically, all we have to do is unzip the plugin file, and we're just going to copy and paste the folder to our installation folder. So it's actually pretty darn easy, okay? So it's right here that we're, we're going to need to go ahead and um, paste this folder to. So I'm going to take, I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to copy this DLSS folder and I'm gonna go ahead and follow that file path so I go epic games 4.26 engine plugins and I'm gonna to go to runtime okay sorry I don't memorize it so Nvidia should be right here and then DLSS as you can see I already have it here because like I said I already installed it so that's how you install the actual DLSS plugin all right so let's go ahead and launch uh, Unreal Engine 4.26 and first thing we're gonna do is actually edit plugins and we actually have to turn it on here so DLS S and I'm gonna enable this and then restart okay so we're back in the project here and we do have DLS S uh, enabled now so if I go down here in the viewport options you're gonna see that the setting is right here and what I want to do is turn on show FPS and we're gonna go to LOD 0 and like I showed you guys uh, earlier, you can check the LODs by just going here. And that's LOD 0. And then if I go back a little bit, LOD 1 is color red. It's in the documentation if you want to see what the colors mean. But that's LOD 0. Let's go look at that lit. You see that we're running at 30 frames per second um, in without, uh, without the DLS. And we'll turn it off just to make sure. So you can see right there. It's like fluctuating a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and press escape so we're not we don't have anything selected so what we're gonna do is go to ultra performance it's gonna change the viewport here so you can see and I'm gonna go ahead and click away and then you can see that we're averaging around 76 frames per second now about you know 13 ms and I'm gonna go ahead and move this mouse here then I'm gonna go ahead and change it to performance and then I'll click out all right, so 68 now, 70 earlier. This is just in the viewport. So, yep, let's go ahead and keep going. And then we'll go to balanced. And you can see it's around 65, 66 ish. So, it's still a lot faster than what we had without DLSS on. Now, if you're wondering what is DLSS, it is NVIDIA's technology as far as deep learning, uh, super sampling. Pretty much, it's used in majority of games, like I mentioned earlier. It's it's a pretty common thing now. now the first version uh, wasn't so successful, but the 2.0, I mean, obviously, you're looking at it. It's pretty amazing. Okay, so uh, VPND brought up a good point earlier when I made the first video. So this is kind of like an updated version. So even though we're changing the DLSS settings here, this is only helping us out in the viewer here. So as you can see, my computer is not dying anymore, like in my previous videos. Even that quality setting, if I go to ultra performance, you'll see that I'm... Again, pretty smooth playback now, right? 
but that's in the viewer or editor settings here. But what if you want this to show up in the actual play or whenever it's playing the cinematics? Well, for that, we're actually gonna have to go to our uh, level blueprint. So if we go with blueprints, open level blueprint right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and this is the play cinematic. So pretty much what happens is when I press play right here, it's gonna play the cinematic, which is right here. I'm gonna minimize this so I can show you, make this bigger. It's actually right here. It's gonna play the cinematic. So if you don't want it to play, just delete that. But let's go ahead and go to blueprints again. And basically we're gonna take this squiggly and just put SET and it's DLSS mode. I'm gonna go ahead and compile it and save. And then here, you can also change your setting for the play. So when this plays, it's going to set the DLSS mode to whatever you choose. So for performance, let's go ahead and do that. Compile, save. And then when I press play here, it's going to play the actual uh, sequencer. So right now, we're getting around 42 frames per second with that thing on. And if I go here, and let's just make sure that it's actually matching our viewport here so let's try that again press play there you go so it's getting 60 a little bit okay so press stop and then we're gonna go ahead and change this to uh, performance and then we're gonna change the level blueprint as well to performance here compile and save and then let's press play Pretty nice. Now we'll look at balance here and then we'll just go to the blueprint again. And there's actually an extra setting there called ultra quality, so we'll take a look at that as well. Alright, so you can see the FPS does drop a little bit, like four, but this is still pretty darn good. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is just change it to, I think, quality is the last one here. And then the blueprints, we're going to change it to quality as well. I mean, I lost like four frames per second so far, which is not too bad. Yeah, so you lose a little bit here. This is quality. About 50 frames per second now. Okay, that's pretty freaking amazing. So let's go ahead and try that super duper quality, ultra quality here. Go. There you go. It's still averaging 55 frames per second, which is not bad at all. That is actually pretty good. But yeah, thanks to uh, VP Indie for honestly bringing up the blueprint portion of it. I totally forgot because this right here just changes the actual viewport and editor settings. So it's not really enabling it whenever we press play. But now it does. So if you guys have any questions, like always, just let me know and I'll see you guys later.